Hello and good day everybody, Daphne Elaine here and welcome to episode 2 of Truly Bedrock. I hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm just having some fun here on my, my new horse. And my new horse is pretty awesome. He's pretty quick. He's not much of a jumper, but he's pretty quick and that's really, really what I like so I can get around everywhere pretty quickly. Um, but anyways, I hope everybody's doing great. I want to thank you guys so much for the amazing feedback on the last episode. You guys really rocked it, and now I'm stuck over here. <laughs> Come on, we can get around here. I don't have a name for him yet. I don't know what to call him right now. He's just Horsey. Come on, Horsey. Um, but anyways, yes, let me show you guys what I've been working with about our new terrain, our new base area. We finally picked a great location, and it's a little bit closer to um, everyone else, just like about a thousand blocks or so. So um, pretty, pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and put this guy right there. Okay, um, but let me introduce you to a few new friends. So, we have our donkey here, which was really great in helping us transport our items over here from that, um, that spruce village. Um, over here we have Scarlet too, which I need to name her, but yeah, our, our first dog tragically died, defending us, um, <laughs> from strays as we were traveling through. Um, and then here is Cowboy. Cowboy found at Spawn Village, just kind of roaming the area looking pretty sad and lonely but now he is part of the family over here he's super cute i thought cowboy was just a great name for him uh, but anyways let me show you guys what i've worked worked on so this was supposed to be an episode this was supposed to be episode two however sadly um yeah the footage was corrupted and yeah so i, I tried rendering it and then it just completely corrupted and then the file was completely gone it was just weird and it's never happened to me before so I was a little bit stressed out. I've been stressed out about recording. I'm afraid, like, is everything going to get corrupted now? But I'm hoping not. Either way, this is what we worked on in that episode. Um, <clears throat> but let me just show you. So we have this little pathway here. Um, a nice little dock. Bring you right up here, up into our fishing hut slash um, survival. Wow. Uh, yeah, fishing hut slash first survival house, starter hut. You walk in here. And then you have this nice little uh, living like area, this little living room space. You walk over here. Here's our nice little fishing area. Now, after building this, I was kind of wondering, like, is this going to be an issue? Because <laughs> if you fish, are the items going to go into my inventory or are they going to go underneath this dock here? So that's going to be kind of a, a problem there. So, um, but yeah, one of the other things that I worked on was our storage room, which I thought was pretty cool. A lot different. It's a little bit chaotic, but it's supposed to kind of feel that way. Uh, but here is our little kitchenette area. Yeah. got some food up here got plenty of food actually and over here is our storage room so the storage room is basically kind of my signature decorative style which is kind of like a cavey feel which I absolutely love this style I just think it's cool it just never gets old for me uh, but anyways um, so yeah we have this little clutter of, of chests and barrels which I think is perfect and it looks really cool uh, but anyways I basically have kind of filled started to fill everything in kind of have an idea of where everything's at now to some people that would come in here they'd have no idea where anything's at right um <laughs> so i thought about possibly labeling this stuff um especially with like like signs possibly item frames i feel like is kind of flashy but i want something simple so i might just throw in some signs and heading over here we have the bedroom which is pretty tiny um and i like tiny bedrooms i mean i guess this is pretty simple it's fine it's just a little starter hut um i am going to knock out this wall however because we're going to work on a is that going to be enough uh, i think we might cut into that um anyways i want to work on an enchantment area you know this little area could work as an enchantment area but hmm not entirely sure if i want to do that though but i guess we'll figure it out we could even just that's something else. I don't know. Let's see here. Where can we... Ah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Never mind. We're not doing that. Let's uh, put that stuff back. Is that going to interfere with anything there? No? No, it's fine. Um, okay, so we'll probably move the bed. Which... Now I have to set my spawn again. Okay. Uh, did that set my spawn? Okay. I don't know if it did or not. But anyways. Um, over here, I guess we can go ahead and cut out a little spot here so we can start constructing another bedroom um for our um yeah our little enchantment area because we definitely need one of those i'm at 20 levels right now and i definitely do have some enchanting to do so it should be good to kind of dig all this out 
All right, so um, yeah, I don't tend to do a lot of building as far as um, like enchant well, enchantment rooms I have done, uh, but doing like farms and stuff, but I really want to work on a farm. Um, I mean, I really, I need to work on one because I need one for like a good uh, proper uh, sort resource for food and I figured you know why not just do it with you guys might as well <laughs> since we're here let's just do that um so we're gonna be doing that today um and I wanted to maybe possibly if we have time uh head over to spawn because there's a lot of cool things going on over there and I'd really like to check some stuff out I don't know that there's gonna be any spoilers hopefully not um but there is some stuff going on over there oh look at this there's that cave system oh cool anyways um Let's just put this up for now. And this can go like right there. This can go here. And this can go like up here. Will that reach all the way down? Uh, let's do that. And 30 levels. Sweet. All right. So this looks pretty good. Looks kind of cool. And I kind of want to throw in like some shelves here. And what I mean by that is we could go like this. Knock that out. Knock that out this out as well oh wait we need that here well we can just kind of fill that in there all right so with these what I want to do is maybe do some shelving like this um let's go like that and go like so mm hmm then this one all right, we could just leave it like that. Let's see, does that mess with any of the levels? It's okay, we're good, we're still good. Okay. All right, not bad, all right. So back here, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what I wanna do with this area. Um, maybe we could fit something back here. We'll fix something back here, maybe like the chest for some lapis and then even like uh, one of these things here. All right, let's see here. We could go kind of hide it away like right there. All right, so let's try putting that like so. There we go. Yeah, pretty good. And then we can put a lantern there, but for now I'll put a torch and a torch there. All right, cool. So there we go. Our funky little um, enchantment area. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, we'll find some stuff to put over here. Just kind of fill this, part, this little party. And I didn't anticipate that this was going to be cornered, but... Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So, <clears throat> so now what I want to do is I would like to grab some cobblestone because where am I keeping my cobblestone? Over here. All right, cool. Now up here I should have, yeah, this stuff right here. We are going to go ahead and work on our farms. So, uh, where are my, oh yeah, food's over here, seeds. So we're go definitely going to plant some berries, which um, we're going to have like a little berry farm going on. Um, definitely need wheat. We definitely need melons. Um, I don't eat a lot of beetroots, but it's cool to have those because they just kind of look nice. Um, pumpkins as well. And did I make, I made two shovels? What did I do there? Did something. <laughs> um, and oh, of course, we need potatoes and we definitely need, need uh, carrots. And yeah, good. All right, let's get started. Oh wait, I need, a, I need one of those things. Oh yeah, the hoe. Let's see. Can make a stone one that should suffice and yeah we're good to go all right so to figure out where we're going to exactly plant our beautiful little farm um i was thinking right over here of course i have my sugarcane farm over here but uh, i think i'm gonna have to move the sugarcane farm um i think we're gonna move it to the other side yeah i think we're gonna move it to the other side Do i have enough to pick up all this sugarcane i should all right first things first is Recessing this back just a bit here. Now I want to keep the terrain looking as natural as possible and that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see. Like right here, this part doesn't even look natural, honestly. <laughs> Let me improve it just a little bit. So we're going to push this back. All right. And then right over here. So um, I was going to talk to you guys about like style wise. Everyone's always curious as to like what style are you going to go with this season. So considering that I was originally um, in the area of a snow biome for this neat season which I don't really particularly 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 
How do you say that word? <laughs> um, I'm not usually, let's say, I'm not usually um, inspired by like snow biomes. But as I was starting to think about things, you know, I really am into um, kind of a Vikings, kind of the bike, Vikings style uh, builds. I think they're really, really cool. And just that whole atmosphere, you know, of it being kind of cold and just kind of grimy and just really just medieval almost. Um, I absolutely love that style. So as I was thinking about it, you know, I got pretty inspired. I mean, I still want to have a nice lush green area to build in and kind of be uh, a part of an area to build in for us. Hello, cowboy. Uh, but so what I was thinking, you know, because since we have all of this terrain, I didn't really show off this part over here that I've claimed as well. Um, because pretty much all of this area will be where I'll be building, uh, for this, in, for this season. Uh, but we have all this nice flat green area, which I really love because for one reason, you know, for one reason is because I usually tend to pick biomes that have tons of trees and, uh, and I would love that this place is nice and open and I'll be able to build out here and just, there's so much potential. And then we have this beautiful structure right here, which you can see I've kind of, we can't really see. I have a, I have a little bridge over there. It's kind of built out of cobblestone. Uh, but um, I really have lots of hopes and dreams for this little mountain line right here. Like this little, this the way it meets the sky. You know, it just looks beautiful, especially during like the sundowns and sunsets and all that. Um, or sunset, sundown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> um, but anyways, I want to build a beautiful house like I just want to build an awesome Viking style house up here and even have one over here have maybe one over there I mean I just have a lot of like thoughts and different um things that I would like to try out maybe different building styles that I've never tried before but yeah that's kind of <laughs> that's the season that I have going for in my head so you know we've got a lot of work to do and I can't wait to get started on all, on all that but you know first things first we got to start little we got to start small and we got to get this part right here all figured out get us nice and running we can go ahead and make some more walls here I know we're gonna need a lot more than that mm. there we are and some slads all right <clears throat> so let's get started so I'm thinking like right along here all right so we have that part of the wall built in and looking at it from over here that looks pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and just kind of bring it in a little bit. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn this part of the terrain into this little cobbly wall mix. Let's see, put that there. How about we go like that? Bring that up like this, bring this over here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's go there. And there we go. All right. I think we're officially done. Um, I think I want to bring that up a little bit. We'll just do the cobble wall there. Okay. <clears throat> so we got the wall in. Let's see. Let's kind of look at it from this angle over here. All right. So that looks pretty cool. I've always loved that look. This is very, very cool. Let's see. Hopefully we'll be able to till all of this. <laughs> we'll be able to till all of this with this little stone. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I should probably get some water in here because I don't want this to dry out on us. All right, so let's go ahead and try tilling the rest here. And I just realized something. You can't till this. <laughs> uh oh, it's getting dark over here. All right, I was able to till all of that. I think this is all gonna be pathway block all right cool so with all that's nice and tilled it's really dark over here too so I am going to light up most of this area with lanterns I think lanterns are a really good look um but I gotta make some first oh it's dark over here all right so that's great and let's go ahead and add our seeds so I think we're gonna put these back here and I'm gonna have them kind of random usually I put them in a nice little order but randomizing them um, actually it works out pretty well for me. The one thing that I do want to kind of put in a particular area would be like pumpkin seeds. So I think I'm going to put the pumpkins, let's say here. All right, there we go. All right, pumpkin seed, pumpkin seed. We can even put that over here as well. And then, so I don't think we're going to be able to plant too many, uh, but it's fine because it's going to be ma mainly, 
Um, just I'm just gonna have a few of them, basically. Um, because what I really want to do, what I really really want to do, is build a pumpkin and melon farm, um, like a f automatic farm. So that's okay. We won't really be using this for a main source of uh, food, as far as um, pumpkins go. Well, food for food, yes, but not pumpkins. No, not pumpkins or melons. Potatoes. Now I do want to get a lot of these in here. All right, and then next, I guess. For all the empty spots, we can go ahead and put some carrots. You know, I was thinking, as far as the berries, um, I believe like a little beautiful berry farm like up here on the hill would be really, really, uh, really nice. And kind of above this other little farm that we have going, I think it'll be perfect. So I'm just gonna clear this out a little bit. I don't know how big the berry farm's gonna actually be, but I just wanna have enough space here to work with if we need it. Um, also, this part right here, I just wanted, I've been wanting to clear it out um, since I've seen it, so let's see. Alright, that's pretty good. Looks pretty natural. Um, okay, so now the berries are going to get planted. Luckily, we don't have to till anything. Um, but I think I want to go ahead and add the berries like here, here, here. And they grow pretty quick, right? Oh, that's perfect. So yeah, that's all the berries I got now. <laughs> um, but I do want to build a little bit of a parameter for them, just like I did for our other farm. So um, I'm thinking, okay, berries could possibly fit in there, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in here, like so. There we go. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and build it up from right here. This is gonna be perfect. Um, actually, now that I think about it, should build that right up. I'm going to build this stuff real quick, guys. I'll be right back. I'm just going to build a parameter basically similar to that one. And then, yeah, I'll be back with you guys. And hopefully we'll have some berries, uh, more berries to plant as well. All right. So I just placed the last wall. And I think this is going to work out pretty good for us. We don't have any more berries yet, I don't think. No, they haven't grown any more berries. But, all right, that's going to look nice. Just think about it. We're going to have all this farm here. And then we'll have our berries over here. We could... Well, I was going to make a little pathway going up right here, but I think having a little pathway going up into the berry bush will be great, too. I mean, or you could just walk right here. Oh, no, I killed it. <laughs> I killed the, the plant that was here. The vegetable. I think it was a beet. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put a bunch of this in here. A bunch of leaves. Um... That can go there. That can go here. There. And I think this stuff's going to go here as well. Okay, so I think I have enough bushels here of leaves. Alright, so I grabbed some bone meal here. We're going to go ahead and bone meal those berries so we don't actually have to wait around for them, you know, because that's going to take way too long. Um, but anyways, what I want to do for the pathway is I think I was going to go with a little bit of coarse dirt. Um, which... I mean, it sounds like a good choice, but I kind of want to just do like pathway block. I want to go with the old Minecraft texture. All right, yeah. Then what I need is some spruce. So let's go ahead and turn this into some slabs here. We have plenty of stairs to work with if we want to use that. All right, so we're good to go. Let's see. There we are. All right. Yeah, um, spruce, I believe, works pretty well. I mean, we could continue to go with the smooth stone. Um, I mean, we could do that. I keep forgetting we have smooth stone stairs now. Um, so let's just, yeah, let's just totally do that. I have a stone cutter here as we speak, so. All right, so let's go ahead and make some stairs. Wrong spot, Daphne. Uh, <laughs> so let's make a bunch of these. Um, I don't know how many we need, but let's just kind of go with that. All right, never mind. We didn't need spruce. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and push this back a little bit. We can turn that into, it's going to be a three wide, I guess. Let's go like so, bring that up here. Okay, bring that up a little bit. And then this can be another slab. All right, so I was thinking, instead of having all these berries everywhere. Oh my gosh, get out of there. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, there we go. Um, we could <clears throat> kind of plant some seed or um, just some grass 
around here. Ooh, that looks so cool. I love it. It looks great. And then heading on into it from over here. Yeah, this is going to be pretty tough, but it'll be worth it. Let's see. All right, so I think I figured out where I want to start and like, kind of start the lattice part. So this is going to go about... I think it's going to start, like, stop about right here. Okay, so I think for the lattice, I want to use... Let's see, I don't know if I have enough wood on me. I do know. Let's just grab all this. Okay, so we're going to make the lattices. I usually make them out of, like, fences or what have you. But um, now that we have, like, fence gates and stuff like that, you know, I've never really used... Uh, try using those. Even just, like, trap doors. Trap doors would work pretty great as well. Um, and even just, like, a basic slab. A mixture of slabs and spruce trap doors. Hmm... You know, that could work, but I think I'm going to just hold out on that. Let's go ahead and make some sticks here. And then we can make some fence gates. I have five, probably. <laughs> I probably need more, but we're just going to try this out for, for starters. Um, Alright, so let's do... Actually... Yeah, we'll do the trap door, or the... What is these... Dang it, slabs. <laughs> We're going to try the slabs first. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this up here. Mm-hmm. Bring that. Let's do like a little curve here. Alright, so that part of the lattice is in. And then, let's see. Alright, so we're going to have to place some dirt all along here. Hopefully we can get the trap doors to work properly. But Alright, so there's that. There's that. Yeah, I think I'm definitely happy with that. That looks great. I love it. Great little lattice. I'm glad I decided to go ahead and go with the, uh, the slabs instead of the just plain old fences. Definitely looks good, and it looks very similar to, you know, our house over there. Um, one thing I did want to try switching out was, like, this bottom portion of the lattice. Maybe putting in something like that there. Oh, yeah, it looks better. Alright, that looks a lot better. So, now let's figure out a way to add in our lighting. So, I do want to definitely use lanterns. And here... Mm-hmm. There we go. That works out well for us, and I like that. Yeah, that looks perfect. Let's just remove that. All right, it's looking good. I got all the lanterns in there. All right, our farm is going. We have some food there for us. The lattice looks great. Our little um, berry farm is looking great, even though it's not going to be very easy to get to the berries, but it still looks really good. Nice berry farm. Um... <laughs> So I'm mean, building all these little like vegetable farms out here and stuff like that But we are still gonna build um, some automatic farms down the line and we're definitely gonna have that for us um, But I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. You know, there was one more place I wanted to mark out and I think over there is gonna be our farms yeah, that's going to be our farms. So yeah, like I said, I wanted to try and build animal farms today. I wanted to try and go to spawn, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. We spent entirely too much time building our farm, which is actually well worth it. It looks good. It looks great. Um, and I'm pretty, I can't say that I'm not like pleased with it. I'm very, very pleased with it. Actually, let's go ahead and just, there's a bunch of dirt showing right here. And then I'll be happy. I'll be right here too. Alright, now I will be happy. Anyways, though, yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. Um, like I said, next episode is going to be super busy. We are going to work on the animal farms, and we're going to start working on that Viking farm over there. And there's also going to be a few other things that I have in store. So, uh, but basically, it's just down to basics for this episode. It's only episode two. We have an entire season in front of us. So, you guys do not worry. But then again, you know... <laughs> Oh, you guys know how slow I am to get videos out, but I'm gonna I'm pretty much trying as hard as I can to push videos out. And you know what? Looking up in this window here looks kinda cool. 
I'm a little creeper just kind of peeking in my own window here uh, but I also need to work on this interior as well so yeah like I said lots of things to do down the line um, but I'm gonna take a little break from this little starter house and definitely work on farms things that are more you know I guess things that we really truly need which is we need something like this and also get those animals going but uh yeah again guys thank you so much for watching I'm gonna go ahead and go I'll see you next time bye